Yeah. Oh, he is. All right. I'm just going to hop off the mic quickly. I'll be cool. back in two minutes or so. Sounds Maybe good. Maybe someone else will hop on there. Give me something to talk about. Give me something to talk about. Um, PM Losers bracket. Let's have a quick look at PM Losers bracket. Give it here, please. Yeah, Kip was in PM Losers, actually. He Kip was in PM Losers played. versus Prof as well. So Prof moves forward yeah. in that one as well. No, that's a shame. Um, he will, in fairness, it's like... It's one he might have so lost anyway. It's that means Prof, Prof, will play bad, the Prof will play... We could finish... We'll finish Melee now. Yep. We've got PM Team still to finish. I know. We'll do that last, I think. That's not that important. Stream. Salt. The salt is real. Okay, so... Uh, Kipkowski forfeiting means he gets fourth in PM as well, which is really good. Yeah, that's, that's cool. solid. He's done. He's putting work today. Yeah. Other than that, lost to GM Sean, and then the unfortunate having to forfeit. Yeah, he's he's I been doing work. I enjoy looking at the PM bracket. Candy yeah. got sixth. Yeah, Candy. The hidden boss of Bristol Shout was outs. real. Hidden boss. Where is he? The uh, hidden boss of Bristol is the real. The hidden boss of Bristol. Candy, this is his first major tournament that he's been to, and he got sixth. Yeah. He's played, what, two tournaments before at Bristol at the Wasteman Weeklies? On Wednesday afternoons, okay. and okay. he does all right started. there. I'm gonna pass the mic over to someone else who can commentate. Comes to this tournament and gets sick. Uh, yeah. Maybe Jomo wants to commentate. Hidden boss, hidden boss. Okay, Jomo's gonna be on commentary. Star two three. Hopefully, you'll see me in well, grand finals for PM. Okay. Shout out to Bristol. Those tournaments are 6 p.m. on Tuesday in the lanes in Bristol. So if you're from Bristol, go there. Support your local Smash team. They play other fighting games too. They play like Street Fighter and Marvel. Yeah, all that stuff. All that good stuff. Right, I'll get back to this game. I'm really sorry about that. Prof has got the salt tag. Some the that, salt tag? But All right. Yeah, that's sensible. Oh, if, you, if they up throw you and you land on the platform, if you wave dash on, it covers every option because you can just dash dance on the platform okay. when they force the tech. Okay. Oh, she's Prof will do it a lot, you'll see it. It's a really good fox tag. Oh, it's a good shine of shield, beats out the shine grab. So. Oh, oh Prof's get that back ahead. Now he's off the side. That's risky. Oh, just gets hit by that. Misses the edge man. Yeah. Misses the ball. Yeah, he goes for it. <laughs> Sean is not looking phased, really. No, he's 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 like he doesn't panic. He's just yeah, exactly. Plays his game all the time. Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 being solid. That's what he's you want so, to do. So like right? rational. Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's like what what needs to be done here. This does it. Yeah. Prof's got a little extra flair. I have to say. The oh yeah. Jim Sean like. But Prof, Prof is, uh, Prof's good at getting the job done as well, but yeah. he does, you know, he's got, he's got style. Yeah, yeah he does. And I uh, <laughs> think it's, it's not always pointless. Sometimes he does like ridiculous shine wave land off his platform, yeah. but it's it's sensible because it makes you think he's not going to come in, and he does come yeah. in. It's yeah, like, one, one thing not he does, which a lot of foxes, well, I, I don't often see many yeah. foxes doing, he uses the shine to like stall off the edge yeah. and then back air, like, mm. rather than just straight off the, uh, yeah. the, uh, the ledge or something. So you can yeah, just time yeah. it more easily. Yeah. And get further out. Oh, his wave lands on from the edge just so fast as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Normally, when you're in the center and they're at the corner, you have an advantage. And I was playing against Prof, and he just waved us back to the edge, waved us on immediately, and he's got invincibility. And it's like, well, suddenly I'm not really like I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's playing. Oh yeah, he plays such a fast character. He thinks so fast. He reacts to situations so fast. Yeah, Takes yeah. a second stock. Yeah, yeah. Reactions is something he definitely has. Like when you get to a high level in the game, like. Like that. That's what yeah. I mean. But I mean, he missed it there. But. Yeah. Like that way, it makes it easier to mm. time and aim that back yeah. air, I think. Yeah, yeah. Crap, and crap I, there's castle. definitely like certain just movements which are just like very prop. Yes. Like yeah. there's like j I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it. There's just certain sequences of movement, yeah. and you're, they just look so prop. What he's trying to do there is on the platform inside of Yoshi's, run off one side and then side be back. Shorten it exactly halfway, and then you edge cancel and on the other side, yeah, yeah, just yeah. because. <laughs> like yeah. that's his like little show off after the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, when you play characters such as Fox, and you'll see Prof do this. He doesn't. It looks like he's always reading you, but he's just covering options so well. Like yeah. he's like, I think you'll go this one. So what I'm gonna do is like move here, but I'm not gonna commit to it until I see it. Yeah, and yeah. And then when you see it, it's like confirmation of your read, and then you can just go in. Do what? Oh, uh, just clicked on the hitbox. Very yeah. Very nice down smash. Yeah, Prof's feeling himself. When Prof's like on a roll, he's on a roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I definitely noticed that when we're playing the melee doubles with him and Pikachu, like, yeah, yeah. when he was hungry, he was hungry. And that he is that so a well. disgusting shine spike. The thing is, uh, yeah, he's so efficient, like off the edge. When you're at that height, he'll either shine spike you, or if you go lower, he'll just double jump back and grab the edge immediately. Yeah, and exactly. then it's like, well, you can't spike you either way. Like, <laughs> what do you do? What? 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> You got the laser! Lasers don't count, legit. No JP. Just fight. saying. Lasers don't count. Oh my god. Oh goodness. my god. He's going in! 
He is going in. Wow, Prof just really showing. He's got that salt tag there. Is he's like, yeah. I mean it now. <laughs> he's going in. That was that was that was 49 seconds. I think yeah, let's that, just acknowledge really that that game was 49, 49 seconds, seconds long. 49 seconds, three percent says Fox. Oh. He's so smart. Says uh, Fox says Profi. Like, see if Jit. I think. Do you think he's got in his head, or maybe we'll have to see? Because that stage can't be amazing. Again, for like he doesn't. Bito. He doesn't look phased. Yeah. That's clever. Nice recovery to the top platform. That's good tech on the platform as well, otherwise he'd be top right. But not enough. That's something that Prof always does as well, like get up to the platform really fast so you can get the next up air. Yeah, like, yeah. I, that's something I've been trying to do more and like sometimes I get it, but a lot of the time I don't get up to the platform quite quick enough and then it's just a bit too late. Prof has no fear as well, like that's another thing I was noticing. Like when you when you when you have stage control he's at the edge. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He's not phased. He's not pressured. He's just he's yeah. sensible. He's always making a logical choice. Yeah. Like even if he has the tiniest amount of stage, he'll just do like a little dash dance to just get you out of space. Yeah, yeah. Like he's confident and he knows what he can do. Oh, Phantom, Phantom back there. Yeah, that's good. Smart reverse back Caught him. Air. Not DIing. Probably trying to DI an up air, but. Well, he might. Oh, have... oh, oh. he's styling. Yeah, well, he might have just been DIing it for the regular back air rather than the reverse back air. Oh, uh, maybe. We should really DI, by the way. So. But yeah. Yeah. So he just jumps onto the platform, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Just like waits. I should actually have messed up with him. Yeah, sorry. Profs. He only one stock up. Much better showing from James Sean than the previous game. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be a lot. I think it'd be awesome to see if James Sean can pick up a game against Prof because yeah. that's like, that's a big thing. Taking a game off Prof and Mary. Like, he's uh, a big We all heard it. It's a big thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, Melly. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's an even bigger thing in Project Ten, I guess. Like. Yeah, I guess so. But then, but then Project he, he has a god in PM. I agree. But then the meta games less developed, so there's more room for yeah, yeah, showing true. stuff and, and bad matchups. By far the best player here, at Melee. Like. Yes, yeah, like by a significant distance. He's like leagues above. Yeah. Us. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> we're alright, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just he's another level. Yeah. It's so clever. If he if you can't get a full punish with the shine, yeah. just do it down there. It'll hit him down. It resets the situation. And they have to yeah. do it again, and you have more time to punish yeah. afterwards. And that is That's something. A nice set by Prof wins grand finals of Melee. Congratulations. We're gonna get some Project M on the stream. Anyone know what's going on in Project M?